there a turning point for you? Like, did, were you always kind of cynical of these things or was there some kind of turning point in, in your experiences that made you say, well, hold on a second, the things that I've heard and been exposed to and experienced, um, it, it's not actually what they've said it, they've said it is, that there's something deeper and bigger going on here. I mean, I think it was a little bit like Hemingway's description of going broke, you know, gradually and then all at once. Yeah. So just, you know, spending my life there, I was never that impressed by the people I lived around. I liked them a lot, but I wasn't, I didn't think they were smarter than me or wiser than me because I, I know them, you know? Right. So I was never, imp and I lived in a world where like everyone went to Harvard, you know? My grandfather went to Yale, like he was an alcoholic. Like that didn't mean, you know what I mean? Like I'm not yeah. impressed by um, by merit badges and never have been. Right. So, but I wasn't against the system at all. Really what changed me was watching Trump in 2015. And I knew Trump before, I mean, because I'm in the media, so I'd known Trump, you know, not well, but I'd known him for, I don't know, 15 years before, right? A long time. And I was like, I thought he was kind of a buffoon. I still think that sometimes. But what changed my view wasn't Trump. It was the reaction to Trump among my neighbors. Hmm. So Trump would say something in his like florid orange way, you know, like, why are we funding NATO? And that was the one that got me. I remember this. And I never questioned NATO. I never, because I grew up during the Cold War and NATO was sure. the bulwark against Soviet aggression into Western Europe. And like my dad worked, as I said, worked for the government. So like we were totally for NATO. Why wouldn't you be? But that ended in August of 1991. I was on my honeymoon when the Soviet Union collapsed, but we still had NATO in 2015. Like what was the point? Mm. And I'd never thought about it in my life. And Trump's like, why are we funding NATO? And I thought that was a really interesting question. Okay, well, yeah. I don't know why. What's the answer? And my neighbors were like, shut up. He must be killed. It's like, okay, but maybe shut up. Maybe he must be killed. But what's the answer to the, like, why are we funding NATO? Is there a good reason? Shut up. Yeah. They Bridget. were so hysterical about obvious and basically common sense questions about the way things were working that that was a tell to me. I was I was stunned by it, actually. I was like, reasonable people who are acting out of honorable motives should be happy or at least willing to explain themselves. Like, what, yes. hey, Tulsi, why mm -hmm. are you doing that? If you're like, right. shut up, then that tells me like you're doing something <laughs> wrong. If you're like, well, here's exactly. why I'm doing it. You may disagree, yeah. but here's why. Yeah. They couldn't do that on mm. any topic. Immigration mm. policy. I was already, I've never been like, my best friend's an immigrant. I've never been against like immigrants or anything, but I was like, you should have control of your border. And Trump in his Trumpian way was basically arguing for that. They just couldn't deal. They couldn't deal with any questions about the way things were then operating. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that, that just completely exploded my view of the system. I was like, this system is a lot more fragile than I realized. It's a lot less legitimate than I realized. And then just the whole four years of Trump. And like, he'd say something that was like truly insane. Like the intel agencies are spying on me. And you're like, oh, okay, the intel spying on, like, what, you know what I mean? Right. What are you like, uh, it was a moon landing fake too? Right. And then you'd find out like a year later, actually the intel agencies were spying on him. And then everyone would be like, well, they had to. Mm -hmm. Wait, and you'd be like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. First of all, right. he was right. Second, I don't care whether it's, I don't care who the president is. You can't spy on the president because he works for you. That's an attack on our system. No, it's totally fine. I would see stuff like that. And I was just like, you know what? I'm out. And we ultimately left the city and we still have a million friends or I have some of my closest relatives still live there. Um, mm -hmm. But, but I just, I really became convinced that the system was not uh, going to be. I, I think Tucker speaks for a lot of us with the whole um, Trump, his presidential run. A lot, a lot, I didn't like a lot of things that he was saying, but a lot of things that he was saying was the truth. And that's the reason why I think that the person that liked Trump, because Trump would never hold back the questions, things that should be questioned, which you should. If something doesn't seem right, you question it, right? That would be a logical way of thinking. And the system is, is totally corrupted. Can, you don't realize? They'll point something out on Trump, and once that don't work, or, or it turns out to be a lie, they find something else, or they find this, and then this turns out to be a lie, and then they, all of a sudden, oh, show your taxes. All right, Trump found a loophole. They all do. Why don't all of them show their tax forms and return? Show it. They won't. So you want him to show his, but y'all are going to show yours. See? 
That's being a hypocrite. That's all they try. And people fall for this. I had stuff falling for this a long time now. Because I think I stopped falling for that ever since um, Barack Obama's second term. That's when I, I stopped falling for the, the nonsense and the shenanigans. Because you realize they're just giving you a run around. Every time we are focused on something, they bring something up to distract us from, from something else. Like, you see what's going on right now in our own country, right? Prices, inflations, food is doubling and tripling in prices. And they still asking for billions of dollars to send to Ukraine. Why we should be focusing on our own country? You know, there's an always old saying they always said, before you try and clean somebody else, make sure yours is clean first. That's what we should be doing. You got your own people suffering. Prices are doubling and tripling. Our gas is a little low, but still food, something that you need, especially when you have a family and you have kids. Instead of you spending $150, now you're spending $300, maybe $350. Billions. What, what is this money for? What is this war even about? Like, like, don't give us the surface BS. Like, what is it really all about? They won't tell us that. Because then they're always lying to us and we always falling for the same trap over and over and over. I see people in the comments giving Biden praise for what? For having to pay, what, $9, $8 for a dozen of eggs? Are you serious? 18, 18 pack, almost $12. Are you really serious? You give this guy praise? That's what I mean. They don't, you know when, you're, when your party is, is doing a horrible job, you should call them out. I don't care if it's right or left, you should call them out. They don't do that. And there's so many things that's going on in the government that is so, it's, it's like they, they, they're doing things, every day look at the trash, all of a sudden, they made the first balloon, they shut it down. Now all of a sudden things keep popping up every day and they just keep shutting it down. What, what, what are y'all shooting down? Like, like, are you going to show us? Nope. We just got to take your word for it, right? Every time I look, it's a distraction over and over. I think the same thing happened with COVID. You remember when Trump was talking about the whole vaccine and then the Biden administration was like, uh, no, he's going to force you. He's going to man mandate for you to get the shot and he's going to do that. We won't do that. We'll give you the option. What did he do? The first day he lied. And Biden don't, he don't question it. It's, it's almost like he's a puppet. You ever notice that? He don't ever answer. What's his interviews? It's like he got to think before he even give an answer. It's like somebody else is running the show. That's how I personally feel when Biden, um, his presidential run so far. It seems like there's somebody else pulling the strings behind him. And it's not Kamala Harris. I don't know who it is. Give you guys take on it. I, I, I think, and none of these officials, they never get held responsible for the things that they do. They never do. They never do. They never held responsible for anything. It, even if they do something and they find out that they were wrong, they'll do something to distract you. So you know you're not focused on that. We are too distracted. We have to stay on task. What's going to happen in another year or two from now? What are we going to be paying? $15? For a dozen of eggs? It's ridiculous, man. And we just sending money, sending money, and we already in debt. What what is like almost four trillion dollars? Maybe more than that. In debt, and we've just given up money. But our own people is over here suffering, suffering. Homeless people, losing house. Enough is enough. Who's getting all this money? I who's to say where it's actually going? We don't know that. I, I like the Trump. Trump Trump always kept it. He tells you the truth whether it hurt your feelings. And that's one thing I liked about Trump. Yeah, he wasn't perfect. Nobody's perfect. But I'd rather take the truth. That somebody lying to me and, and, and making me seem like I like I'm dumb. I'll take I'll take that. I'll take the cold truth over a lie any day. Give me you guys think about it in the comments. You see something happen with Tucker. I reckon the same thing with Tucker. People were saying, oh, we gotta get him out the White House. We gotta get Trump out, Trump out. And I always tell people, always remember, when you think somebody is evil, there's always a greater evil. Or there's always somebody worse than the last person. 
And look what we got going on right now. Hey, can you guys think about this in the comments? And until then, I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.